Uh, so in Cuckoo in the Bundesliga, I mean, right away, you know, not right away, but pretty soon, he just started showing the talent, putting up really impressive stats. A lot of Chelsea fans fear that that's just a product of being in the Bundesliga. So much so, they'll name you another Leipzig player, Timo Werner, who put up stats at Leipzig. When I look at Nkuku's game, I see a lot more technical ability than a Timo Werner. What's your opinion on that? Yeah, it's not so much the technical ability. It's that one is that Werner is one-dimensional, really. There's one thing he does, and he does it really well, but there's one thing he does. Mm-hmm. No offense to Timo Werner, who I don't I don't know personally at, at all. And Kunku is a is a different level. Really, I really believe that. And yeah, you can you can say that the level of the Bundesliga, or certainly the the lack of defending at times in the Bundesliga, because it's so end to end that they don't, you know, they left themselves quite exposed. All of them, and we saw that again today with the, in the Bayern Munich, uh, yeah, uh, Leipzig game. Helps helps your forward, helps your striker. Remember Luka Jovic. You know, for example, just one name that came to yeah. outstanding in the Bundesliga goes to Real Madrid when the league is different, the club is different, and just can't score for his life. So there's there's that element. However, I I do think that Nkunku is something very special. He's a very special player. The versatility that he has and that he brings with him show you that because we took one dimension for Werner. There's four or five dimensions for Nkunku depending on where he plays. I think in terms of athleticism and fitness-wise, he's a freak, really, in the sense that he can run and run and run and run and sprint and sprint and sprint and sprint, and sprint which Poch is going to love. The only thing I would say is, where would you play him to get the best out of him? So mm-hmm. today, again, against Bayern Munich, and I know this has come out you know, later, but sure. he played with Andre Silva. So... If you play him on his own up front, he can do that because he's so good technically that he would hold the ball up, he would make the runs behind, he would do everything for you. But he's still only small, tiny Christopher and Kunku on his own up front against right. Ruben Diaz and John Stones, against Saliba and Gabriel, against Varane and Martinez, you know? Yeah. And I don't know how he will deal with that. However, I think that if you partner him with another striker. But again, not many people play two strikers and Poch has never really played two striker. But what I said to Gab Marcotti the other day on the Gab and Jules show on ESPN was that, why can't you make Nkunku your Dele Ali? Right. So let's say you sign Vlaovic, he's your Kane, in a way. Yeah. I believe that Nkunku would be an amazing Dele Ali because he would trail back, he would defend, he would hustle whoever is on the ball from the opposition in terms of counter-pressing or simple pressing. And he would do that, he would be intelligent enough as a former midfielder to be able to play that role. And for me at Chelsea, and again, it's hard to say because we don't know the full squad and we don't know exactly who's going to be there and not. But I think under Podge, I can certainly very much see Nkunku playing just behind the striker, having a bit of a freedom to go everywhere as a 10 when Chelsea is on the ball, at the ball. And then as soon as you lose the ball, he'll be the first one triggering the counter press. And if the counter press doesn't work for the first 10 seconds or seven seconds, then it would be clever enough to come back and help the, you know, his two midfielders behind the, the, the double pivot behind him, for example. 